Hi guys, welcome back to Home McCoy. There's been a cry for help in the Koi community. Well, our local community. And a veteran, a veteran's pond, has got on the, over the top of him. So, I'm going to gather some tools, head down there and see what we can do. Guys, welcome to Bob's Pond. Now as you can see, there is a fair old few big koi in here. But he hasn't been able to see them for a while. And for a guy in his 80s, it's getting on top of him. Now, the UV is not working. He's got two pressure filters. And when they are, the as height that they are, he is struggling on two walking sticks to get up there and clean them. Now one thing that I did find while I was here last time is that he used to have a big bush here that is cut down and he's got a brand new never used easy pod behind it. So as you can see it's been sat here years the plastic has all disintegrated and the UV was full of water but it is as white as white can be in there. He said he attempted to get it working one point and couldn't do it. So he went back to his easy pods. But we are going to get this in and working for him. He has been and bought us some materials so we can get it going. So the first thing to do is strip all this back and let's get it piped up to him so we can make it easy. So the plan is to get the easy pod in the corner take out this UV that doesn't work as he has bought a new integrated one for the easy pod and get one of the pressure filters going through a basket of floss inside to try and help clear this water first step is pipe work let's get to it let's get to it Right, I've got a solvent weld union that I'm going to screw into the bottom of this easy pod and hopefully, don't know what that pipe is coming out of here, hopefully it'll screw in there and create a waterproof seal. First things first, we have a solvent weld valve. A, sol a solvent well fitting now on his inlet because he's going to be pump fed so let's get a slide valve on there and then we can go to hose tail to one of his pumps and try and get this up and running this easy pod So step one is complete, inlet is done. Well happy with that, I just need to get this hose tail glued in. I have mentioned to Bob that I really want him with the amount of filters he currently has. We're hopefully gonna remove quite a few of these. Um, that I want him to fit a float switch. So that is high priority list. I might send Leo with um, the Koi Widow up to Machine Mart and get him one. Just going to nip to screw fix and get Bob some pipe and uh, see if we can't get the return sorted and get one of his pumps running through this easy pod. It's going to make his life my miles easier rather than stripping the pressure filter down. Well guys, I have got Bob's return done. Now, this won't without tribulation. This is a three inch pipe, but this doesn't go to four inch. This goes to like 150. But Bob did have this adapter to go from whatever this size pipe was. As you can see, it's got all plumber's mate on it from when he's tried to do it himself. It went from 
158 mil back to 110 and then we'll just use a couple of elbows and pipe that I that I already had so I didn't really need to go to school fix to be fair I had these pipes with me we bought an elbow but the elbow didn't fit I thought that it would just go straight to four inch but this is um, this is what Bob was using prior to that so I managed to pull that adapter off this but it fits in the rubber pipe so win-win, we've managed to get it working and it looks like it's returning very well now. Let me show you where we're at guys. So I've attached a drain line and this is attached to one of his pressure filter pumps for the moment. And we're just sticking his UV in that he's bought. New o-ring, new quartz sleeve and the bulb. It's going to go in here, like so, and nip down. I'm going to uh, get that wired in because I just test fitted it. And the water shooted out the top here, which um, was not great. Got me absolutely soaked, but. Right, guys. One of the things that Bob did say when he tried to install the EasyPod last time is that he accidentally left the pump running and it forced all the media in the centre section right out and all ended up floating in his pond. And I said, Bob, there is a product for that. And sent him a link to something on eBay for some covers. And these are the covers that we bought. Really simple, just clip on and we'll stop them that happening but obviously i'm going to make bob's life easier and show him how to clean it properly I'll try and do this one-handed to show you guys but it's very simple the the slot underneath and when you get it in the right spot push down and that'll stop anything coming out of the uh, the center chamber when he's boiling it like so Not bad, I think these, they're off eBay. Got a company's logo on there, Koi, Koi Bricks. About 13 quid delivered. And that's in, solid. Fantastic, that. Right, we're about to do the first test fire of the EasyPod and we're using Bob's original pump, which was attached to his pressure filter. We don't know how many litres an hour it is. Um, we're just going to give it a go and see what the flow is like. And then once we've got it in and running, we're going to give Vince a call, EasyPod expert, to see how that looks. Let's click it on now. Bro, that is running way, way too fast. You need to be running that water about an inch underneath them plastic, sh uh, them plastic, them, them shoots. So uh, I've got two options for you. You've got ball valve to restrict it down or put a very flow pump on it. Yeah. If that don't work, come back to me and we'll find something else that will. Too much flow going through that guys even with brand new media there's obviously nothing restricting it it's hitting that top plate vince said it needs to be two inch below it and both of bob's pumps are a lot are big 16,000 liters now stripped and down so bob said aaron i don't mind spending the money let's get a pump and i think if he gets a superfish pump like what mine is if he's going to be standing here to clean it he will be able to press on the remote control to stop the pump and close the valve, which means that he doesn't have to climb down his steps to his electrics to do it. That's surely going to make his life easier. So we're going to get in one of them and a float switch. I've sent Nicky and Leo to go get them parts now and we'll fit them as soon as they get back. I don't know what this weather's doing today. Sunshine one minute and uh, rain the next. But this is the pump. This is the... Uh, the pump of what? Superfish one with a remote control, so Bob can stand next to his 
next to his easy pod and use the remote control to turn this on and off it should make his life a lot lot easier i'll drop this in the pond now and we'll give this a test run so we're currently on number two and it's a 15,000 litre one and now look at this we're nicely two inches below that so that should work a lot better and we can turn it down even more we can turn it down to number one but that's miles better than the the pump that was in there and also another thing that you can see now is i don't know if we can catch the light in there you can actually see the uv glow now so we know that's actually doing something so next job on the list guys is float switch now this is something that everybody that's pump fed should have on the pond so here's a quick demonstration for you guys if the pond was to ever drain and the pipe goes down like that it kills the electric for both pumps but still leaves the air running as you can see it's still bubbling which means he won't empty his pond should the worst happen and then as soon as he tops it back up again and it starts to float the water will just start coming back out of both pumps there take a little longer for the easy pod one to fill out but that's how it'll work there we go and that one's back up and running now yep oh shit said a bit made on that a load of times didn't i leo left me but he brought me the goods he brought me he went and bought me a pump and the float switch which was great and it is all running now Obviously, I checked in with Vince, having three easy pods, and now it's running. And now, it's just the time will tell. Welcome back to Bob's house. It's been, it's now the Wednesday, me and Leo was here on Saturday, so it's been a few days. Let me show you the results so far. I mean, you can actually start to see fish. <laughs> There's more in it than what I expected, but this is a few days of clearing, a few days of the UV working and the new filter working, and it's, it's, it's starting to clear up. It's looking well. Bob's got this magic thing here where he's trained his fish to come to a knock. I don't know if they're gonna do it for me like but already that's looking better now one thing that i haven't done yet is i haven't plumbed his airline in or his waistline i had to um use the cause clip for something else so the waistline's not pumped in but he's bought me some bits and i'm back to get the air pump pumped in ready so he can do a filter clean and get it on there but i'm excited to see the results of this is this is only three or four days bob's pond should be looking good in no time there was nowhere before you could see what the the fish actually was. So, push the airline into here, into the valve. I'm gonna hopefully get this working so I can give it a bit of a clean. Underneath here, and I'm hopefully gonna tar up it down to his air pump. Fingers crossed, we don't know if this air valve leaks, but I have got a spare. I just need to nip this bolt off for his waistline. And then hopefully, we can have him up and running and cleaning, but yeah, it's looking well. 
stop thinking he's as many air air stones in it as what he's got mind might might try and tactfully put them somewhere else in the pond so he's still got a nice clean if we can maybe get him towards the back so he's still got a nice a clean viewing area for him looking good though looking really good just so it can't be seen along this ground level here I'm just tie wrapping this um, this airline into the underneath of this beam. I think it'll be a bit nicer for him there. Plus, as well, it can't get damaged up there. So I've turned Bob's air round to face this way now. His airline goes over the top. And then I've put, he's got his air line for cleaning the air and a valve here going to the stones in his pond. I've moved the stones of the pond to this end, that way that he's actually got a bit at this end where it's not bubbling it, so he's going to get a chance to see his fish when he's feeding it. Guys, it's been a week since we were last here, so we're going to show you what it's like at Bob's Pond now. Let's have a look at the difference this uh, Easy Pod's made. Look at that. You can see everything in here now. <laughs> this is amazing. Yeah, they, they won't come when I want them to. <laughs> Don't worry. This shear is lovely that you've got in there. So we'll pop to give Bob's filter a clean and um, we we'll brought him some food as well. That clear now that you can see there's an o-ring and some gravel and some bits that are falling in over the you can see everything I love over it. the time you can even see that white ring down the bottom there yeah well we'll get all of that overed up but the koi are looking really well and we didn't have to change no water there, yeah, there he is i've seen the stage and did you see it yeah i can see it mate now that was a little one the other one will be falling in it <laughs> You seen the ornament at the back, Leo? There's a little man yeah. with a with a straw hat on sat in there. So we'll have to wait till summertime. You're not going in there. This is what Bob's currently feeding. Some pond sticks, and we've got him some mix of FD Saki Akari, and Leo, there's a bit of quick. Takazumi Leo. in there as well. Just, just going that way. There's your white oh, dot. Yeah. Do you see it? Yeah. What do you think then, Bob, to the results? Eh? What do you think to the results? Oh, I think it's absolutely amazing. For months I've been putting chemicals in and it cleans it up for a day or so and then goes back. And then you did it, what, within a week it was crystal clear? With no chemicals. Well, I mean, let's face it. No chemicals, they, no major water one, changes. One of them fish alone is worth getting on for about a thousand pound, aren't they? You've got, you've got some one. pretty old koi in there, Bob. Look at this. This is lovely, this one. I saw one smaller than that one, and it was 500 and odd quid. How long have you had these, Bob? Oh, heck. Some of these I've had in 25 years. Yeah. <laughs> See, when you've had them that long, you can't put a value yeah. on them, can you? You know the... Um, you oh, must have had this one sometime. It's absolutely massive, that. So while we're here... Will you eat them? We're just going to give this on, easy pod a bit of a clean. I think this is the, let's see, second time it's been cleaned since um, since it's been in. And it shows you how much of it's pulled out. Bob's getting Leo to have grapes off his grape time for him. But telling Leo all the war tales about carrying packs in the war and stuff like that is an absolute amazing character. He really is. I've so much enjoyed doing this for him. And he was, he was telling the pair of us. Got some grapes off his tree. <laughs> he was telling the pair of us how much enjoyment he's had over the last week, being able to see his fish again. So that's amazing. 25 years he's had these, and um, he hasn't been able to see them for a long time. It's not finished. There's loads of stuff on the bottom, but you can see him now. And I've just found a vax in his house that he didn't realise that could suck water up. So we're gonna get the stuff over off the bottom and get it in a much more manageable condition for him. Here, there, look at this. 
Ito ginay. It's more big. See how can I park this one? Have you seen a dog like that? Jesus, what? Well, at least you know where half your fish road's going. <laughs> well, Bob, I'm really happy with that. It's looking, it's looking brilliant, isn't it? <laughs> I'm happy that you can see your fish again and oh, get and get I some enjoyment sure. out of it. And that work that pump cleaner now. Yeah. I haven't touched it because I haven't needed to, you know what I mean? You won't need to. And realistically, Bob, to clean that easy pod, it takes me two minutes. I don't mind coming by and doing it for you. It's no yeah. bother. I'm really, really, really chuffed. I really am. I've been sitting here. <laughs> 